Welcome back to 49er Way presented by NRG. If you watch pro football, you know NFL Films has been the historian of this sport forever. But just take a walk around Levi Stadium, even here in the Citrix Suite, and you see an incredible number of photographs that capture the history and the legacy of this franchise so well. Several photographers do that to this day for the 49ers, but we thought we'd have a chance to focus on our full-time photographer. Terrell Lloyd, who does that for the 49ers to this day, is this week's Freeway. And this is going to be my best picture I've ever taken. Here we go. Right, here we go. I was a season ticket holder since 1981 when they won their first Super Bowl. I used to take pictures from the stands. And then fortunately I had an opportunity to get on the field in 1994 and photograph a game and then I was hooked after that. And then I had this dream, I said, wow, it'd be great to um, get with the 49ers and about four and five years later, I was doing stuff for them uh, indirectly. Now I'm responsible for all the game actions, website photos, marketing photos, uh, community relations. So basically everything that you see a lot on the 49ers.com and their publications, you know, I'm kind of responsible for all that aspect as well. You know, I started bowling when I was like 12, 13 years old and I got to be pretty good at a young age. At about 16 years old, I was averaging 200. And I had this goal of going out on a pro bowlers tour. Then I went out on tour when I was 21, 22 years old and did it full time for about three years. There you go. My game day starts at, I wanna say I leave the house at 7.30 in the morning and we don't leave the stadium till almost 7.30 at night. So once we get here, I have a crew of photographers that work with me. Game day is can be pretty intense. He gets into his own, and we have worked long enough together that we can kind of communicate without even saying too many words, but it's almost like he wants to come together pre-game and we kind of go over some things, and then he's like, all right, everybody's got their job, let's do it. We never take a playoff, so we're constantly shooting, you know, nonstop, uh, throughout the game to the end of the game and then even post game. So after the game, now is the editing process. People say, how many images do you have? Between the three, four, five photographers that I have that assisting through the home games, we may have anywhere from five to 7,000 images that have to be edited and broken down after the game. Need a break? You need a break? Yes, sir? I get you some good ones. To be a good photographer and sports photographer and football photographer, it's like you have to understand the game. You have to know the sport. I'll give you an example, if um, I, and I take pride in, in, in trying to create multiple shots at the same time. So say for example, if I gotta get a shot of the line, I gotta get a shot of the running back, wide receiver, quarterback. So I can get three or four different shots in one play. So I may be looking at a lineman and he goes back, boom, 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 I fire off a couple of shots there. Then all of a sudden, Cap goes back to pass, I get a couple of shots there. Now you created three, four different shots at the same time. But basically, you're kind of like scanning the whole field all at the same time. And you have to anticipate things that are gonna happen. When you get to do something that you, you love to do, it, it's not like a job. You know, you go in every day, you, 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 you can't wait to get to work. You can't wait to get up to, to start photographing again. I've always loved photography and I've always loved sports and, and I've always loved the San Francisco 49ers. So to be doing what I'm doing, people say, you talk about a dream job. Truly, this is the ultimate job. I can't see myself really doing anything else other than photographing the San Francisco 49ers.